For some reason in, in this country, we don't seem to bake fish much. You know, we're into our sautéing, we're into our barbecue, cooking our fish whole, we poach it. So today, I'm going to show you how I bake fish. And I've got this just this wonderful, quick little recipe using some old-style baguettes, some breadcrumbs, some fresh herbs, some chilli, some lemon juice. And it's just going to bake on top of that fish and create this beautiful crust to go with the pour eye. So this is just an old baguette. I've taken the crust off, ripped it up with my fingers. I'm adding some panko to that and that's really going to be my breading mix. I want to add some chilli. So for the chilli, I always just cut a little bit off and try it. Woo! So often with chilies, some have absolutely no heat, others are just like little nuclear bombs. So the best thing is to just taste a little bit and then you know with the amount of heat that you're dealing with. And there's some good heat with that, so I'm going to remove most of the seeds. You know, fish is delicate and we want that to be the hero, not the chilli. Building the layers, we've got the breadcrumbs and we've got the chilli. Next we're going to add zest of a lemon. I find I'm always putting the zest of a lemon in so many recipes. It's just the oil that adds a far more complex citrus note than the actual juice. But I'm going to use the juice as well. Some juice. For this crust or this breading crust that we're going to put on the pour eye, I've got some chives. I've got some mint, I've got some basil, and I've got some parsley. There's not really any measurements. So don't be shy with the fresh herbs. Remember, we're putting these in with the bread and the breadcrumbs, which is going to dumb down the flavour. So all those herbs, it's like the counterpunch. It's bringing a lot more flavour to the dish. And a little bit of salt. I've got about 100 grams of melted butter, and I'm just adding that all to the mix. And we're just mixing it all together. First thing we do is season our fish. There's just tons of flavour in there and we're bringing a lovely textural contrast to the baked fish as well. We've cranked our oven up to full. I'm just going to brush the oil and then we're just going to carefully put each piece on. Just going to put that in the oven. By the way, this would be a great topping on a fish pie. Just how I expected. Just looks beautiful, got a lovely crunch. Again, it's adding a texture to the fish. Baked fish, something that you can do quickly on a mid-week night. A little bit of breadcrumbs, some old bread, a few herbs. It just elevates, elevates the fish eating experience. So simple, so easy. Give this one a try.